Hey YouTube, Robbie coming to you guys here with another deck profile. This one is a really fun one for Edison format, and it is actually probably one of my favorites that uh, my friend Mercy and I worked on together. Uh, it is Morphtronics. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, Selfon. So if you don't know what this card does, in attack mode, you roll a dice, and if you roll any number, doesn't matter, you show the top number of cards of your deck and you can special summon one Morphtronic among the number of cards shown. And in defense mode, you can look at the same thing, you roll a dice, look at your cards on top of the deck and rearrange them. So if you have one in defense and one in attack, you can kinda, kinda go for bigger go home. Normally you always just go for attack mode. There's, there's no way you don't try to summon more monsters for free and try to kill your opponent quickly. Um, and then we play. Three Scopin. It's the only tuner in the deck that we really play um, in attack mode. It's summon a monster from your hand for free. It's got to be level four, so you can't get self on. But we play enough level fours where it's fine. And in defense mode, it counts as the level four instead of level three. And then we play three Boom Boxing. Whoops, that card fell out. Three Boom Boxing. So what this card does is in attack mode, it lets all your Morphtronics attack twice. And in defense, your opponent can't select other Morphtronics as uh, attack targets. So if you have two, you can wall up for a while um, until you have an OTK. Yeah. Uh, Radeon. You only really need one of this guy. Um, just because in attack mode, he gives all your Morphtronics a plus 100, 800 attack bonus. And in defense, he gives all of them a, a 1,000 defense bonus. So in defense, he's 1,900. In attack mode, he's 1800, but you're really not trying to summon him that quickly and just like not kill your opponent quickly. Um, but yeah, it's an option. And you only really need one because uh, you can hit him off of cell phones pretty, pretty much pretty quickly. Uh, two Borden. Uh, in attack mode, he lets all of your Morphtronics attack directly. And in defense, uh, they cannot be destroyed by battle. So it's not that bad, not that great, honestly, though, but you only need two. Uh, one Cyber Dragon, because machines, and uh, free. Uh, one uh, Fortress. Um, it's kind of just like a free machine summon in this deck if you really need to get one of these guys into the graveyard, especially like a Selfon, because there's like, there's a in archetype Monster Reborn. So if you need to get like an extra body on the field, or like you open uh, one of these guys, that you can't like normal summon because you already normal summon self on. You can special ditch special and it's just like, it's done more good than it has been in this deck. Like it's just fine. And then one Trigodia, uh, this deck is kind of a setup to kill you in a one turn deck. But if you don't have it, then like you can sit on Trigodia. Uh, so this is kind of not really a combo deck per se, but it's like, it plays three of this card and it's kind of a combo card. Uh, three Machine Dupe. So you actually have two targets with Selfon and uh, Borden. So you can get the other Borden out of your deck if need be. Not that great. You always want to go for Selfon though. Go big or go home. This deck is kind of like style. Uh, now our main extra deck monster is Power Tool. This card searches for equip spells. So you kind of need to have a number of equip spells in your deck to actually activate and resolve it. Uh, so we play two Double Tool C&D, two United We Stand, and one Mage Power. Uh, so you can at least resolve Power Tool twice in one turn if you don't draw too many of them. Uh, you can actually resolve all three Power Tools if you're crazy and draw none of these. These are kind of the Garnets in your deck, but this is how you kill your opponent really quickly. Uh, you make one monster really big uh, that can attack twice and do double damage directly. So really you're trying to hit them with like this, uh, yeah. Um, these two are kind of like, you know, old cards, so they, you know, kind of know what they do. This, however, gives a thousand attack to your monster on your turn, and on your opponent's turn, they cannot select another monster as an attack target, and an opponent's monster that battles the equipped monster is catastered at the end of the damage step, so just killed. Um, and... Uh, any monster it attacks on your turn is negated. So if you attack like a Raiko, it negates it. Uh, so you can only really do that to 
this or this, uh, I believe. Yeah, it's gotta be a machine. So like, oddly enough, this card is a thunder, so it can't be used with uh, that card. So it's only these two as your targets for this card. That's why there's only two of it in the deck, but that's just fine. Uh, then we play one limiter because machines kill. Then like I said, three in archetype monster reborns. Um, it's gotta be level four or lower, so that's fine. Um, and it dies during the end phase, like, but you're trying not to have an end phase with it. And then one, one for one because cell phone. Uh, and then we play the two big back row removals and Shrunade, uh, just because we're, we don't want to have cold wave because we're using equip spells, but we at least want to try to kill them with any of these three. Then we play two Avarice just to get self on, to put self on back into the deck and try to hit self on again to hit another some. Yeah, you get the idea. Then our trap cards, we have the one staple trap card, Solemn Judgment, and that is it for staple trap cards. The rest are kind of weird, and we kind of really just built it to like have this deck be a one turn kill deck. And if not, the rest of your traps are kind of just there as a placeholder until you kill them. So three Roar. Roar is better because Glad Beast exists. Two Wabaku. Um, against Light Sworn, you know, just, these are just free cards against them for them to mill out. Uh, against uh, Black Wings, this stops them from Shura doing anything. So, really, if you have to just like set a monster and Wabaku protect it, you can. That's kind of the idea of the deck, just to like really get the big push on them. And then, lastly, it's three traps done. This is basically your cold wave in the deck. Uh, again, Talon Judgment's our only real real trap, so really you're trying to just go for the kill. Um, yeah. Uh, the extra deck now is three power tool. Uh, you don't really need three because it's... I mean, it's not hard to make a seven in this deck, but like you make two in one turn for sure. Um, and you just try to kill them. <laughs> and then other synchros in the deck... You don't really make that many other synchros. Like you can make... Brio, Goyo, uh, Armory Arm is actually pretty easy to make in this deck because it's self on and Scopin. Um, Black Rose, Red Dragon, Android, Thought Ruler, Colossal Fighter, Stardust, uh, Cataster, and two Chimera Techs. Two because you have your one Cyber Dragon in their field, and if they have an opposing Cyber Dragon, you can summon any of your little guys and just make it for free. So, yeah, basically that's it. Um, this is Morphtronics. I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. I have one more deck for you guys after this, and that's it. So I know it's a lot over the last like week or so that you, I've been putting these decks out, and I hope you guys enjoy. Later, guys.